I'm Andrew Young, President and Chief Designer at Pearl River Glass Studio in Jackson, Mississippi. It is my pleasure to present a case study of the stained glass restoration for the Jesuit High School Chapel. The stained glass window is a, an accumulation of a series of systems. There's the steel reinforcement bar, which adds lateral support. There is the lead work, which holds the glass together. There's the solder, which holds the lead together. There's the glass painting and the glass and how well it's cut and the cementing compound at the end. So each one of these component parts forms together into the leaded stained glass window. Once the stained glass systems begin to fail, then the damage starts to accelerate. When the Jesuits decided to fill their windows with beautiful stained glass, the first choice was to go to the Munich schools, and they imported windows from there. The Munich school was established by the German king to produce stained glass windows in Munich of the highest quality of art and craftsmanship. The stained glass windows are at the point, as well as they were made, and the, as beautiful as they are, they're at the point now where they need to be restored so that these windows will last for future generations. When we're doing restoration work, we're very careful to manage each one of these systems in terms of how they're taken apart and put back together again so that we maintain the same processes that the original artists did, so that we maintain the original integrity of the stained glass window itself. The very first step is to lay the stained glass window out in the studio. We put a piece of paper over the top and we take a crayon and we rub the surface of the glass and that picks up the design of the lead work. We need the design of the lead work so once the windows are disassembled then the glass can be laid out in place and kept up with appropriately. When we take the windows apart one of the other steps that we're concerned about is cleaning the glass and making sure that the glazing compound, the cementing compound, all that gets removed. Any other dirt from the glass is also cleaned off at that point before they're re-leaded. There are some broken pieces of glass that are removed and we cannot preserve glass that's not there. We have a masterful glass painter and he will be recreating the uh, skin tones, the silver stains, and everything necessary to replace a piece of glass that's broken. We look for cracked pieces when the windows are taken apart, and we can epoxy it back together again, re it into the window, and then put a coal painting on there to kind of hide any loss of enamels. If a cracked piece has got lots of glass paint on it, it's in a background area, then we'll use copper foil technique to edge glue the glass. So what's happening here is we've taken copper foil, which has an adhesive back, and we're wrapping the copper foil around all the edges of the glass that's going to be repaired. The copper foil has a black coating on the side that touches the glass to keep sunlight from reflecting off of a brighter metal surface. It's wrapped around very, very carefully. It's trimmed off. Then that copper foil is burnished down very, very hard to the surface of the glass to make sure the adhesion has good contact. Then we take a pair of shears and we cut off the excess of the copper foil so that when it's soldered together, the resulting line is very thin, almost a sixteenth of an inch thick, so that visually from a distance that small lead line just disappears. Then we come back and we solder over the surface all the way around. Even though the piece of glass fits into the lead work on all sides, we put the copper foil all the way around to make sure that we've got a good bond. One of the principles in restoration is you want to re retain as much of the original glass as possible. Since we have all of the pieces, we want to put all of the pieces back in the window. And here you can see the glass that's been cleaned and now we're starting the assembly process where the glass rubbing is laid out on the production bench. It's a very ancient process. Leaded stained glass has been used the same way for over 1,000 years and our craftsmen in our studio still use the same tools and techniques essentially. When we start to look closely at Marsh's lead work, you can see that he's overlapping the leads, and the overlapped leads is a characteristic of German-made windows, so that we will reassemble the windows using the same leading techniques, where we tamp down the ends of the leads, and they can be 
overlapped with the crossing lead to make a much stronger window. You can see here that the leads are standing up very high. After the windows are cemented, another tool will crimp the leads down to the glass, which is also part of the original German technique. So the next step, which is also very time consuming, is soldering the joints. The soldering process involves a catalyst, and that's sunflower oil called oleic acid. Oleic acid is applied to the joints so that the, you can get a very good, clean solder joint. Then we have the cementing process where you've got the window assembled. Now it's just a series of parts and pieces. The cementing compound fits between the glass and the lead and it waterproofs the window. It also adds part of the structural characteristic of the window. Then we take whiting. Whiting is marble dust. We coat the window with marble dust come back with a natural bristle brush. The whiting absorbs the grease from the cementing compound and cleans the surface of the glass. And each window will have these exact same processes. This shows the effect of the wire grill. One of the things with the restoration of the stained glass is to remove the wire grill. The windows will have a safety glass over the outside of the windows to protect them from uh, windstorm damage. But removing the grill will return the windows to their original aesthetic design. So it's very time consuming and very meticulous to get all of this taken apart, and put back together again to meet the standards of restoration. Thank you for your time today. It is a great honor for all of us at Pearl River Glass Studio to contribute to this historic restoration.